me Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite product from each brand from some of my favorite brands and I saw this idea from someone on YouTube YouTube I can't even remember um, but also a trend has been going on of like top three products from each brand or in each category and I might do that um, eventually but I thought I'd look through pick my favorite product from a lot of brands that I enjoy and it was a little hard I have a number of products I'm kind of surprised that I have face eyes and lip products um, I thought maybe I'd pick a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and I do have some eyeshadow palettes but I have other uh, favorite products as well I want to first let you know I am wearing the wine and only palette from ColourPop and I really like this look I decided to do like a berry monochromatic moment with all of my makeup so I hope you enjoy that but let's just get right into it so I'll start with face products I kind of haven't organized so for first for foundation I chose the it cosmetics CC cream the CC plus color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum plus SPF 50 that is a mouthful but from it cosmetics I would say this is my favorite product I haven't tried much from it cosmetics and I'll kind of tell you if there's some products I haven't some brands I haven't tried too much from um, but I've tried a couple things and I really do think this is their best product it's a little more full coverage for me than I like now with my preferences um, but it's still a really great product and the SPF 50 is great and I always find myself reaching for this and I've repurchased it many many times over the years so I would say this is my favorite product uh, from IT Cosmetics. And then we have the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. This is a, another brand I haven't tried much um, from over the years, but it is a good brand. I've tried a few things from Pure, and this is just my favorite. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It is the 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer, and this is more of the coverage I'm preferring. I'm not wearing either of these today. I didn't plan this right, but I do enjoy this. It says SPF 20. It's very light, but enough coverage for me. And um, yeah, I have, I have to choose this as my favorite pure product. Next is the Dose of Colors Concealer. And I really enjoy Dose of Colors as a brand. I've tried their lip products, I've tried their eyeshadow, and I've tried this concealer. And I have to say, this is my favorite product. I love this concealer. It's called the Meet Your Hue Concealer. And I have the shade, oh, I didn't say the shades in these, I'm sorry. This is Fair Light. This is LG3. And this one is Light Medium 11 love this concealer it has great coverage but it's very natural and nice on the skin i use this for under the eyes love it and dose of colors is a cool brand i do enjoy their eyeshadow but this was my favorite product when i had to choose i have a few face products tarte is a brand i've tried many things over the years from and i have to say that i wanted to choose this tarte peaches and i'm sorry beaches and cream Beach Cheeks Cream Blush from their Sugar Rush line, which is kind of funny, but I just love the packaging here, and I really have been enjoying cream products recently, so this cream blush is just gorgeous. It's so pink and cute, and I love the packaging, so this was my choice, and I had, I don't have a ton of Tarte products left in my collection, but I've tried over the years a ton of products, but I have to choose this. I think it's really good. Uh, Ofra, I haven't tried a million things from, but I decided to choose my tried and true highlighter from them in Star Island. I think it's such a great product, and I have a huge pan in it already, so love this highlighter. And I do love their blushes as well, but I wanted to give it to this one as my favorite Ofra product. I have a random brush here, Alamar Cosmetics. I've tried they're one of their lip glosses. I've tried their eyeshadow and I've tried some brushes from them and I have to choose this brush here. It is their, I think it's, oh it might have worn off. I think it's their brightening brush and I use this all the time. I use it today for um, setting my concealer under the eyes with powder and so I just love their brushes. I have three of them and I absolutely love their face brushes. So that's what one for Alamar Cosmetics. I really enjoyed that brand. 
um, milk makeup was hard I have a few products from them but I love every single product I've tried but I had to choose the baked bronzer or, I'm sorry the shade is baked but it is their cream bronzer it's just so good I used it today and um, I just really enjoy the formula and it doesn't pick up on my foundation it's just so so good so love this guy this is my first ever cream bronzer and I've been loving cream bronzer ever since so love this had to pick that for milk makeup but I really enjoy a lot from their line um, this was sad Becca is going out of business but um, I wanted to include them just because I've tried a few things from them over the years and this is my favorite it is not available anymore but it is the Becca afterglow palette and I really love their highlight in here in the shade moonstone and then the flower child blush so both on either end and those are the two things I reach for the most in this little palette but yeah it's sad to see them go but I've heard they're going to be sold Becca products are going to be sold on smashbox.com so I thought that was kind of cool so they're not completely gone but those are my favorite products from Becca my favorite like two products in one I guess um for Lunar Beauty, I've tried their eyeshadows and I've tried this and I have to say this is my favorite, the Moon Prism Blush Palette. So gorgeous, the packaging is amazing and look at those blushes, so beautiful. Um, Lunar Beauty is a brand that I really enjoy, it's Manny MUA's makeup brand and it's just so good. I really enjoy the formula and this is a really gorgeous blush palette and I love the formula here too so that was my favorite from Lunar Beauty. Now we'll get into eye products. I have for NYX, I decided on the glitter primer they have. Look at how beat up this is. I use this a lot for my shimmers for eyeshadow. Love this product. NYX is a really nice in between brand, but they're pretty affordable and, um, you know, in between drugstore and high end. But I had to pick this product from NYX. Okay, from Thrive Cosmetics, my favorite brand recently. Um, this was really hard to choose, but I decided on my favorite, the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And it used to have writing on it, and I've used it so much that all the writing has come off. But I'll show you the brush here. It's just so, so good. Such a good, um, such a good mascara. It's lengthening. It's um, volumizing I'm wearing it today and it's so easy to remove also so love this um, from LA girl I don't have a ton from LA girl but this is definitely my favorite it is the shockwave neon liner and this one is in the shade vivid and it's just a purple eyeliner but I love their shockwave eyeliner they're so so good and they stay all day and they're super fun colors so I have a bunch of these and really enjoy this from LA Girl. I want to try more from them. I've heard their lip liners are really good. Okay, now we have some um, eyeshadows from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I love a lot from e.l.f., so this was hard, but I decided on the um, Cream and Sugar palette. I used up this shade completely. This shade I have a pan in. I just thought it was my favorite from them, and I love their Bite Size Eyeshadow formula. I guess it chipped off here, so I gotta be careful. But love their bright size formula and this is one I've used a lot of so I wanted to mention it the Marc Jacobs stiletto palette is my favorite from Marc Jacobs I really enjoy the formulas and the quality of Marc Jacobs and this just had to be my favorite Marc Jacobs product just because I love the cool tone this cool tone palette I love reaching for this a lot um, so I had to I had to include it, the mattes are so buttery, the shimmers are gorgeous, this glitter is so pretty, so, and it's so sleek and nice, I really love Marc Jacobs' brand. Natasha Denona, I had to pick eyeshadow because they have such great eyeshadow, and I've tried some blushes from them, but I feel like, hands down, their eyeshadow palettes are the best, so this is the Cranberry palette from Natasha Denona, and I have probably four or five Natasha Denona palettes, um, but this one steals my heart. I love the mattes. I love the shimmers. It's just gorgeous, and it's definitely my type of color story, so had to choose this one as my favorite Natasha Denona product. My favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette had to be, or product, had to be the Modern Renaissance palette. I just couldn't not pick this. It was a favorite for so long, and I still 
reach for it sometimes and it's just such a nostalgic palette for me. I wore it on my first date with my boyfriend. I wore it to my high school graduation. I wore it so many times in college so I just love this. I have some pans in it and I had to pick this but I have a ton of Anastasia palettes I love and, and some other products too but this was my number one. From Bessemer Cosmetics, I don't have much from them, but I love them as a brand so much, so I wanted to include them. I would choose the Sleeping Beauty palette. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the idea behind it where, you know, she used products. Um, she used the colors from the original Sleeping Beauty uh, movie to create the palette. I just think that's so fun, and I love the color scheme in here. It's really unique, so had to choose this. I love Bessemer Cosmetics and their aesthetic. It's really, really awesome. And then I have ColourPop. This was hard, but I chose the It's My Pleasure palette because the Earth Shine shade here I hit pan in and I absolutely love. It's like my favorite eyeshadow of all time. And so love this pinky purple vibe palette. And I love ColourPop eyeshadows so much. And so I had to choose this as my favorite ColourPop product. And then Juvia's Place, I chose the Tribe palette. This was hard because I do enjoy a few palettes from Juvia's Place, but I had to choose this one. It's the most unique color story. I love every single shade in here. The mattes are so pigmented, and then the shimmers are so gorgeous, so had to choose this for Juvia's Place. And then we have a bunch of lip products, too. For Burt's Bees, I decided I had to choose their little lip balms. I don't know if I would choose the pomegranate shade, but just in general, the lip balms are my favorite from Burt's Bees are my favorite product from them so moisturizing and nice Charlotte Tilbury I had to choose my lip cheat uh, lip liner in pillow talk I've sharpened it a lot I don't know if you can tell it's just the perfect nude shade I just oh my gosh maybe I should be swatching more I'm sorry it's just the perfect nude shade and so I had to pick like the perfect nude pink so I haven't tried too much from Charlotte Tilbury I need to try more but definitely my favorite product so far. Fenty Beauty, of course. I haven't tried too much from them either, but the Gloss Bomb in Fussy is my absolute favorite. This is a mini, but I absolutely love this shade. It's like the perfect pink, and the formula is so nice and like luxurious on my lips. I love this. So this would be my favorite Fenty Beauty product. Buxom, I haven't tried too much from either, but of course the White Russian lip balm um, lip gloss this is like almost out if you can see so plumping and nice on the lips so i have a big size of this and a small size of this so that would be my favorite from buxom il maquillage i've actually tried a few product a good amount of products from and i really love their infinity long wear matte lip cream in the shade matte gala it's just a really, really pretty formula. Um, it stays pretty, it kind of dries down a little bit, and it's like a, I don't know, more of a mauve pink. Love this color and love the formula and the packaging. <laughs> so El Maquillage, that's my product. Ace Beauté, this was a surprise. I was going to pick one of their eyeshadow palettes. I have three of their eyeshadow palettes, but I decided on this lip liner in the shade B Peachy. It's more of a brown nude then like I'll swatch it next to Charlotte Tilbury one it's more of a brown nude but it's so nice in the fall I reach for it a lot so love this shade I got this in a boxy charm and lastly for lip products I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquified Longwear or matte longwear lipsticks this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Sellout and I've used so much of this Too Faced used to be a favorite brand of mine but um, not anymore really. <laughs> I don't really get too much from them anymore. But this is like the perfect shade of pink for me and I wore this a ton and I still reach for it sometimes. So had to choose this as my favorite Too Faced product which is surprising because I love a lot of their eyeshadow, older eyeshadow palettes as well. So yeah, that is <laughs> that. And then lastly from Urban Decay, I love a lot of Urban Decay eyeshadow but I decided on the All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, just because this stuff is the bomb and it makes your makeup stay so long. So this is my Urban Decay favorite product. So yeah, I think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I thought it was interesting to kind of go through all my products and pick what favorite product from each brand. 
Um, I would love to hear your favorite product down below and let me know what you think. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.